Hello and welcome to Window on the World, a show where we highlight MSSU students and faculty members who have had the opportunity to travel internationally. I'm your host, Alicia Henson, and today I will be interviewing four students who recently took a trip to Germany. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so for starters, I'm going to have each and every one of you introduce yourself, say what your major is, and what year you are in school. I'll start with you. Hi, right, I'm Mackenzie Copeland. I will be a junior in, the, in fall of 2016. Hi, my name is Alexander Bryant, and I will also be a junior with a major in Mass Communications. I'm Mackenzie Payton. I'm a junior with a major in Mass Communication. I'm Megan Aldridge, and I'm Mass Communications major, graduating this December. Okay. So what made you want to take this trip to Germany? Well, one of it was the price. Like, it was just too, too good to pass up. Like, at first I was like, oh, I don't have a passport yet. And I was like, okay, this is super cheap. I got to go. And plus... It was super duper like awesome experience, and I probably will never go to Germany again. So that was probably why I think I went the most. And plus, the activities we did there was super awesome. How many people went on the trip? Uh, including me, there was five other people. Yeah, mm -hmm. or six of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What made you want to go on the trip? Uh, I got. I was offered. I was told this through my professor, who I told about this workshop that involved part of my major and the fact that I could do different little workshops with it, each to improve upon my skills. The price was incredibly cheap and it was just one of those things like, yeah, I definitely would like to do that. It would be incredible to do. Is it true that you had to leave early and actually miss finals week to go on this trip? Yeah, we left about halfway through the week before finals week, I believe. So we had to get all of our finals done before that point. How stressful was that? Very stressful. <laughs> there was a lot of homework. <laughs> I bet. And for you, what made you want to go on the trip? I've always wanted to travel around the world, and this would be my first trip in Europe, and it being this price, it was really cheap, really made me want to go. I, I hear a lot of you mentioning the cost. How much was this trip to go? Uh, $186. $186 yeah. total. Yeah. That is a bargain. That was it. <laughs> plus passports, of course. Yeah, yeah. plus passport, yeah. yeah. And it was 10 days? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, 12, but two days worth of travel. <laughs> I'll start with you. Were you nervous about traveling to a country where English was not a native language? Did you encounter a lot of language barriers because of that, a lot of challenges? Um, I never really faced any challenges. Um, we had one girl with us that was from Finland, and she kind of knew some German, so she would translate sometimes to us, but most of them spoke English over there, which made it really easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah you just, um, it, it was sometimes really hard to go to like restaurants and stuff if they did not have an English menu, but a lot of them did, so it was a lot easier than I had been expecting. Mm -hmm. So all the classes were taught in English and it wasn't tough to detect the English with a heavy accent? Um, no. Uh, our teacher, me and yeah. see Megan had the same teacher, and he was actually from Arizona, so oh, okay. <laughs> he spoke perfect English. Now the computers were all in German, so I had to ha like <laughs> no, learn how to gosh. change it from German to English. That mm -hmm. was kind of weird yeah but other than that that everything else was pretty normal <laughs> do you have anything else to add on uh i took a different workshop from them but both of my professors spoke english one was actually a german native but was also teaching at arizona state university and the other individual was from australia who okay. also taught at arizona state university so a lot of people from different parts of the globe went. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And I heard you guys mention that each of you took different workshops. What workshops were you able to choose from? Do you remember the names of them? Um, ours was uh, interactive audio something. Audio visual. Yeah. Max, MSP, yes. and Jitter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you took this course for three days, eight hours a day, I think you said? Yeah, we got there at 9 o'clock in the morning and didn't leave till 5.30. <laughs> Do you feel like the class kind of prepared you for what you want to do in your career? Did you learn a lot from it? Well, I learned a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, I've never heard of that program, mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. It, kinda, <laughs> it, yeah. it gave us a new skill that we would have never uh -huh. had before because working with a program that lets you create where you can interact with a video or something, it was kind of a new experience. And what was the name of the program one more time? Uh, the program we used was Max. Max. It used oh, yeah. to be Max MSP Jitter. But now it's just Max. <laughs> <laughs> I understand it, you guys worked on a final project together too? Yes. Mm -hmm. we, uh, uh. <laughs> we built three different little mini games together where it reacted to audio and visual input. It was really interesting. And so you learned a lot from the course? And yeah, I think I did. For a, <laughs> for a short time <laughs> we were there, we did learn a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 
And you, what was the course you selected? I took acoustic ecology, which dealt with the sound of involving nature within production and using that to benefit whether you do so. The course itself focused more on John Cage and his 49 waltzes in the five boroughs in New York, which were just, he went to three different sections and would film, just kind of film there and just use the audio and when you combine it, it would be like music in a sense. So what we did is we got with a partner, mine had three from Germany, and we went around the town of Ansbach to different locations, shot some film there, each was like different length, and when you put it all together, it was supposed to give that kind of almost four nine waltzes together and they combine them all together and from what they've told us, they're gonna actually show that at a little exhibit that they do later on during the school semester. Very cool. So basically the class kind of taught you how to use audio and how to amplify film mm -hmm. in a way? Mm -hmm. It really focused more on the audio and success, no, I don't want to say successfully, but able to improve upon if you're filming something and using to the best of the ability that you can. Okay. And do you think your time in Germany kind of provided you with important skills that you'll need for your future careers? Do you feel more like you're culturally rounded and ready for media, taking it on? I'm working on a different like language with our programming, it mm -hmm. being in German and then the keyboards. I think oh, that yeah. made us easier to like, uh, like adjust ourselves mm -hmm. to a different culture, working with the programs that we'd be working with mm -hmm. in our career. Yeah, the keyboards was different because their Z and their Y are switched, and when I went to type my name, I went McKinney because <laughs> there was, the Z was in the wrong place. So that, was, that took some time to get used to. <laughs> so you feel like you're more ready to adapt to different technology and softwares because of your experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else to add on? Uh, pretty much what they said is kind of the basics for what I kind of did. The only, instead of just doing a program, we just had to go around the city and my partner was not from the city of Ansbach either. She was from a different town in Germany. So both her and I had to find these different places kind of on her own. And it was quite an experience and I very much enjoyed it and look forward to being able to do something more and traveling abroad like that. Okay, so you plan on traveling abroad someday? Oh, most definitely. Oh, good. Now I understand that Alex was kind enough to put together a PowerPoint for us about your time in Germany. So how about we take a look at that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys are in a cathedral. It looks like taking a very nice group mm -hmm. photo. Yeah, yep, that's in Nuremberg. Mm -hmm. It was funny because the person that was taking our pictures was one of the, our student guides and he didn't know how to use an iPhone. He was like, which button do I push? <laughs> <laughs> and so w w was that a prominent cathedral there or um, just a beautiful church? Just one we went into. There was a, there's mm -hmm. a bunch of them there. Mm -hmm. like okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, this is another fun group photo. Uh -oh. Yeah, me, the Maggie. orangery. Yeah. yeah, orangery gardens. That was our first group photo with Satu. We used mm -hmm. uh, a little self timer on my cell phone. We put it on the ground so we could get a group photo. It was. Okay. It, it was turned funny. out really nice. Yeah. The background with the sky and everything. Mm -hmm. You can tell you guys had a good time together. Yeah. That was that, in Nuremberg think, uh -huh. yeah. that for was the, the Blue, Blue Nights. Nights. Yeah. yeah. The Blue Nights? The Blue Nights, mm -hmm. yeah. And that is a like picture of people going, like, it's just a bunch of people. Like, it's just people. <laughs> it's not like a sidewalk. Those are people. Okay. <laughs> and what is Blue Nights? It's uh, like it, an art yeah, festival, thing, festival, festival that goes festival? on. Yeah. Okay. So there, cool. There was like recitals and yeah. there was a castle and they lit it up blue. So that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Cool. There's the castle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so did you spend a lot of time touring the city and experiencing Blue Nights? Um, yeah. Yes, we yeah, got there about 6.30 or 7 and yeah. we left mm -hmm. at 1 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. So. Yeah. We got home around 2. <laughs> <laughs> had some late nights. But oh, yeah. I wanted to make the most of your experiences, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Definitely. So. Definitely. I think that's during the Bratwurst tour in Ansbach. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, the Bratwurst tour. Mm -hmm. That's just a Just road. touring more of the city? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of the architecture there. Did you like the architecture there and how the houses and streets were built? Was it a lot different than here in America? Yeah, yeah. I agree. It was, it was all was really pretty. pretty. <laughs> like, I really like the cobblestone, like the different mm -hmm. patterns they make in it. Yeah. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we have an inside picture of a building. That mm -hmm. is a museum that we yeah. went to. Mm -hmm. um, that CKM? Yeah, yeah, I think so. 
Yes, the Center for Modern Art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And okay. That thing in the way back is like it's like oil dripping from the ceiling, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I don't know. It's art. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what it, what it, it was. What some it. kind of commentary yeah. about uh, modern life and trying to escape mm -hmm. from it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Oh, and then we have another nice group photo in front of a. That was outside the Shopes microphone mm -hmm. factory, which we did tour of, which was a place where they make. Super Incredibly <laughs> nice microphones. Yeah. yeah. Very high quality. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How was that? Um, was it interesting to see how mm -hmm. microphones are made? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. really cool. Our bus got stuck. Yeah. Right it was there. interesting. <laughs> to get there. We had to. We were on a big charter bus, and he thought he could make it down this road. Got to the end and realized there was cars parked, and the road was like this big. Oh, so yeah. he ended up backing up, and then got stuck. So we had to get off of our bus and walk to this place when it was raining. Oh my goodness. So that was an adventure just to get to the place. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get lost or anything while you were in the city, or what, was it pretty smooth traveling besides the bus getting stuck? Um, I, I think we ever got lost, yeah. but yeah. we did wander around a lot. Yeah. That was just because we were curious. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what is this picture of? That's um, an installation at the Blue Night. Yeah, mm -hmm. it honestly looks like giant water, like, uh, what's the word? Water... No, to like waterfalls. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You're like things that hold water, like things like aquarium. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> water tanks. They look like giant water tanks, there and they go. were just stacked on each other. It was, and then they lit up. <laughs> gotcha. Well, it looks very pretty. Definitely, it looks like it had some exciting nightlife. Mm -hmm. And what is this a building of? That uh, was well. We never really, we never really found yeah. out what it was. Okay. <laughs> it was just pretty yeah. and empty. Like, <laughs> there was nothing <laughs> in the title yeah. of it. It's this big mansion in the middle of Anspach, uh -huh. and it's open. You can drive through it, or yeah. you can go upstairs a little bit, but there's construction inside. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, That's the inside of the castle yeah. in Nuremberg. Mm -hmm. Did you have to pay to get inside the castle? Was it free to tour? Uh, well, we because had, we, yeah, the wristbands that we had for the Blue Knight. We were able to get in and do some tours mm -hmm. and a magic show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Magic show? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Magic show in a castle. Yeah, yeah in like a castle. So yeah, yeah. So better. It was all in German, too, so it was really hard to understand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pulling out bunnies and card tricks, or was it more of like um, hypnotist? He pulled a $20 euro out of It an was orange like 50 or 100. For, oh, yeah, remember. for Matt. It was a Matt <laughs> got chosen, and so. He spoke English in that part. <laughs> <laughs> what is this a picture of? That is the TV studio at Hochschule Anspach. And that's me interviewing Megan. Yeah. <laughs> we, they have a, like, we have green screen, they have a blue box, and they can like put like, a cool looking background behind us. That's what they did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that's another picture of just the city of no, Nuremberg. Yeah, that's from the top of the yeah, castle. The top of the castle. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yep. Very cool. None of you were afraid of heights? Yeah. Honestly, it didn't feel like we were up that high. It was okay. just that everything was so much lower. Yeah. But I think it's because we walked up a hill to get to the top, because yeah. this was on like the mm -hmm. top of a hill. So it wasn't like high up in the air. That, that part didn't bother me there. It's when you went to the other side yeah, that you really like saw drop. it dropped it dropped. off. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a garden here? Uh, that's the orangery gardens again. We took a picture over farther that on the right side, mm -hmm. but that's just a side view. <laughs> <laughs> this is another street picture. Uh, downtown Onsbach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where we were at. We'll mm -hmm. stay at. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh we're back. What were some of the other activities you were able to do besides taking the workshops? Do you have a favorite place you were able to tour? Again. Oh, first. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, I guess. Well, when we first got to Germany, we got to it was we were super tired, but we weren't supposed to go to sleep because of the jet lag. So we went and walked around Ansbach for the first time, and we saw a fair that was happening, and there was all these different fair rides, and we were like, "Oh, let's ride one." <laughs> so <laughs> Megan and Matt and I rode this ride called Blackout, and it went on for like five minutes, but it was just like this spinning, like you sat in these like chairs, and it spun you backwards and frontwards, and plus it would spin you in the air. And, <laughs> like that was like the thing I remember the most because it was like the most exciting, <laughs> but it made me feel so <laughs> sick after it. Yeah. <laughs> it was, like, we didn't think it would go that long, but it went on forever. <laughs> like. Yeah. We got yeah. your money's worth, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got Matt's money's worth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Matt paid for it. Matt was like, oh, I'll take you guys. I'm like, okay. Very cool. <laughs> Do you 
you have a favorite memory from your time in Germany? My favorite was definitely the trip to Nuremberg for the Blue Night Festival. That was definitely my favorite, going to the castle then just kind of staying up through the entire night, just going past the crowds of people. We had a lot of fun conversations along the way, fun memories. <laughs> And you, you were only at the Blue Knife for one night, or did you go back there a few times? One night. <laughs> one night. Yep. Uh, and for you, favorite memory? I probably liked going to uh, Bavaria Studios. It's a film studio oh, in Munich, and we did this great big tour all around. We got to see some uh, submarine uh, das das boot. models. Das yeah, boot. Das boot. <laughs> uh, for a, it's a really famous old film it's about... Like six uh, hours old. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it, well, it was a mini series well. first. And we got to see the models for that film, and we got to tour through where they did the never ending story and that sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. <laughs> and for you, favorite memory? I have so many. Like, I gotta say the ride with Mackenzie. <laughs> <laughs> and also, my favorite was um, on Mother's Day when we were there, going to the gardens and having a small picnic mm -hmm. and getting the pastries mm -hmm. and stuff. It was a lot of mm -hmm. fun. And then the Bavaria Film Studios, I got to ride Falcor for <laughs> 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 the branding story, and that was really fun. <laughs> so did you get to try a lot of interesting food? I heard you mention pastries, so. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I gotta say, the bakery was my favorite. Mm -hmm. Like, the different pastries, it was so good. Yeah. <laughs> and they had really fresh strawberries that mm. were really good. So I had like this pastry with strawberries, powdered sugar. It was so good. It, it sounds good. We <laughs> must start to water a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had tons and tons of bratwurst. <laughs> <laughs> they kept pushing bratwurst on us. You have to try mm. it, guys. <laughs> what yeah. is brat's words? Am Brat I saying that right? Bratwurst. bratwurst. It's like, like sausages. Kind of. They're famous. Though. Yeah. <laughs> and, and did you like it? No. I liked it. <laughs> I don't like bratwurst anyway. I, I, so. I liked it. <laughs> you liked it, okay. Well, we went on a tour of like <laughs> the history true. of bratwurst, and like the very first thing we were in this like I don't know like a museum, and they were like mm -hmm. passing out this piece of bread with oh. like raw meat oh. on it and onions, and they're like passing it out to all of us, and like try mm -hmm. it, try it, and I was like, uh, <laughs> took one bite of it, and I was like, nope. <laughs> and one of the one of our guides from the college there with us, he ended up eating mine because he was like, I'll eat it. <laughs> Oh, it was nasty. <laughs> so that was the most interesting thing you've tried, you'd say, is the bratwurst. I'm mm -hmm. saying that. And right. the potato, like. Oh, yeah, the, oh, dumplings. the dumplings. Dumplings, yeah. It's just like, they're not, it's just, they were just a circle of potatoes. <laughs> it was like okay. potato, yeah, potato and gelatin. Yeah, yeah it, it was interesting. Interesting. <laughs> there wasn't really any taste to it. It was just kind of, it was just raw potato. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you miss most about Germany? Is there anything that you're just like, man, I wish we had that here in America? Pretzels. Pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> Pretzels were really good there. They just were. I love them. Really doughy and just. Um, yeah, they were just. Pretzels here don't compare to that at right, all. Okay. Like at all. For you? I enjoyed the walking down kind of the main mm -hmm. downtown section to get to the college. It was on the cobblestone paths, going past like multiple cathedrals and different stores out there. That's what I enjoyed the most. I liked being able to see really old architecture next to the new. We don't really have that around here because we're a relatively new area. So it was really cool to see that. I miss the atmosphere, just being able to walk everywhere and everything seemed really clean and <laughs> everyone was nice there. Yeah. It was just nice. <laughs> so it was just a really good overall experience. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys made a lot of friends along the way with your group? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yes. Good. <laughs> Well, this fall, MSSU has many students who are going to be studying abroad in various parts of the globe, like England, Moscow, Italy, Germany. Do you have any advice for students who are thinking about studying abroad or traveling internationally? Um, I would just say go in with an open mind, not really like planning everything ahead of time, just go in with a fresh new <laughs> Yeah. idea of it. <laughs> but make sure you know the uh, etiquette for bathrooms. Because oh. in like Munich, we had to pay to go into public restrooms. It, but it was like a one year, we paid two euros and then one of them was a deposit that we would get back in a mm -hmm. uh, well, Like yeah. an old a coupon. Ticket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So yeah. if you couldn't pay, then you couldn't use the bathroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they have a lot of people peeing on the street? <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> No, I, th I think it's expected. So. Okay, <laughs> so they know how it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So d check up on the bathroom etiquette before yeah. you go out and bring <laughs> extra change. Maybe yes. bring your own paper towels. <laughs> <laughs> we had to pay for paper towels at a McDonald's. That was funny. Oh, interesting. <laughs> and for you? Never paid for paper towels at McDonald's, but... Uh, <laughs> Advice I, for... I students? would say definitely take the, take the trip. Definitely go in and just kind of do it. I had never even been on a plane. 
flown in these states before. And the first trip I did was across the ocean to a different culture country. So I would definitely say just take that risk. And how, how long was your flight? Eight hours? Eight hours and 46 minutes. Mm -hmm. Goodness. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> and you guys did experience some severe jet lag? Or? No. Yeah. Did? I, yeah. I did. You did? <laughs> I thought I, the yeah. first day was horrible, but after that it was okay. I don't know, actually. I just kind of went about and it was just <laughs> like... You just so excited, didn't even notice. Pretty much. Like, we just didn't like, hey. sleep on the way there either. Oh, that's right. We stayed up the entire <laughs> yeah. time because we couldn't... My we chair was, my recliner was broken, so I couldn't <laughs> lean back, so. And I was stuck in the middle, so I couldn't fall asleep anyways. I'd, I'd like, try to fall asleep, and I'd look over, and he'd be like, hey. <laughs> 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 and you, do you have advice for students? Uh, if you can do it, do it. I mean, it's just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, because it's just so cool, and you get credit for it. So, I mean, why not? I don't know. It was just, oh, it's fun. It's just fun. Well, good. Do you guys have anything else to add on any other memories you'd like to share about your time in Germany? I gotta say the flight over and back was probably the most interesting. <laughs> like we probably made the most memories and probably like on the flight there we <laughs> made a lot of jokes and stuff and <laughs> personally I like because they all sat kind of together I sat with a guy that was originally from Egypt and he was going back over to visit some family and stuff so I like I talked to a lot of new people and they had like a lot of life stories that they were sharing to me and it was interesting. Yeah, I had to help translate for an Italian woman who didn't speak English or German. <laughs> yeah. What language did you translate Spanish. For? Oh, yeah. very cool. So you're bilingual? Yeah, a little cool. bit. <laughs> I, I sit next to two older people who flew from Springfield, Missouri with us mm -hmm. and just happened to be there. Yeah. Were there any other challenges you guys faced while you were studying abroad? Any? ever have any items stolen or any risk like that happen? Got lots of blisters. <laughs> Got lots of blisters from walking around. Oh yeah. Did um, you guys, um, do you have a Fitbit or anything where you know how many miles you walked? No. 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 Um, they have good, like, soda. <laughs> <laughs> good yeah. soda. They have this thing called Spetsy and it's like Coca-Cola and Fanta combined together and it's like amazing. I think I drank that entire, entire time we were there. We had soda and pretzels, that's basically soda what pretzels, your diet Soda and pretzels, that was, was my diet, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And one day of McDonald's. <laughs> so disappointed at you for that. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for being on the show. It was a pleasure to hear about some of your experiences in Germany. I look forward to seeing what else you will do in you guys' futures. And thank you so much for watching this segment of Window on the World. Don't go anywhere, because after the short commercial break, I will be interviewing Emily Keeter, who recently took a trip to Paris. Don't go anywhere. back to Window on the World. For this segment of the show, I will be interviewing Emily Keeter, who recently took a group trip to Paris, where MSSU students were able to follow the lives of some of America's greatest authors, such as Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and Ezra Pound. Hi, Emily. Thank you so much for being on the show. Hi, thanks for having me. Can you describe some of the activities you were able to do while in Paris? We got to go to the Eiffel Tower, we went to the Louvre, we went to Père Lachaise Cemetery, and we got to see where Gertrude Stein lived in Paris and where Ernest Hemingway used to get his books from. Can you start, describe what it was like going to the Louvre and some of the prominent cultural places in Paris? Yeah, um, we got to see the Mona Lisa in the Louvre and that was really awesome. There were tons of people crowded around the painting just taking pictures. Um, the Eiffel Tower was really cool because it was like being on top of the city and you could just see everything. You're and not afraid of heights? I am afraid of heights, but it was like I have to go on the Eiffel it Tower. Was worth it. Yeah. Gotcha. So. And what were some of the places you got to see that 
highlighted some of the author's lives. Um, like I said, we went to Gertrude Stein's house, and that was really cool to see because we could actually, we couldn't go in, but we looked in the windows, and it was cool to just imagine her living there. And then pretty close by, um, Ernest Hemingway used to get books from Sylvia Plath when he was too poor to even buy a book. She would give him books for free, and so it's not a library anymore, but it was really neat to see, like, Ernest Hemingway used to go here. <laughs> And be able to think I'm walking where Ernest yeah. Hemingway used to walk. Famous American writers have walked mm -hmm. the same streets. Now, are you a writer yourself, or what's your major? I am an English major. I don't really want to write. I want to edit books. Okay. So I love literature, but I don't want to write. Out of the authors you highlighted, do you have a personal favorite? Hemingway is my favorite. Is there a reason? Is it the way he writes? Or yeah. He came up with the iceberg theory, which is where he writes, like, really... Um, books full of like deep thoughts but he only writes like on the surface and you kind of have to figure out what he's saying and so I like that. Were there facts that surprised you about the authors on the trip or information you weren't aware of before? I was really surprised at how nice Gertrude Stein's house was like I didn't realize how rich she was until we actually saw her house and so that was kind of cool. So it was kind of a mansion or? It wasn't a mansion it was just like like the walkway, you, we could see the walkway and you could see the stairs leading up to her apartment, but it was like so huge you could have fit like two or three cars in there. Wow. Which is, it was pretty big. Do you have a favorite memory from your time abroad? Um, I really loved the Père Lachaise Cemetery, which is where Jim Morrison is buried, and it was just really neat to see all the history. Okay. And... Some students, they shy away from studying abroad because they're worried about the cost to mm -hmm. you. In your personal opinion, do you think the cost is worth the trip? I think the cost is completely worth it. And we were really lucky because we got a, a grant from the International Studies Department. And so it covered a large part of our cost. Did you notice any cultural differences during your time in Paris? Um, Between here and America? Yes. Or here in Paris, I should say. It's like, for one thing, the... Uh, people kiss in public all the time in France, which you would probably expect because it's the city of love, but that was that was really different. It was really cool, though. Um, I don't know what else. Yeah. Did you try any different foods while there? Yeah, they had a lot of weird things, like the French eat beef raw, which I was not up to trying because yeah. I'm not... That's a little different. I'm not a meat person, but yeah, it was cool. I tried snails, and the snails were really good. Do you have any advice for students who are thinking about traveling abroad? I would say do it. It's totally worth it. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time here on the show. And I really appreciate hearing about your time in Paris. It sounds like you had a really great trip. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on this episode of Window on the World. I'm your host, Alicia Hinson, and we'll see you next time.